guys, welcome back to my channel. So today is another classroom setup vlog. I think we're on day four, technically day five, because I didn't film yesterday, which we'll chat about in a second. But we have big goals for today. Um, the first thing I wanna do is walk around the room and show you what I did yesterday. It was a really heavy unpacking day and I just didn't want to film it. Um, but if you do follow me on Instagram, you caught a sneak peek of what that was about. If you don't follow me on Instagram, make sure you go head over there right now at Early Adventures because you get things like that. Um, so the first thing I want to do is show you what I've done as far as unpacking goes. And then today, I really want to get all of the bulletin boards finished because then I can start to map out in my head what I want the walls to look like and things like that. Um, if we get that done, then I'm gonna start going through these piles, which is what I did yesterday. So first thing I wanna do is show you what we did yesterday. Okay, so I had three of these big tubs full of stuff. So I unpacked all of this and I kind of moved everything off the floor and this is where we're at. So each table is kind of its own category. So for example, over here are all of my empty baskets and bins. This is just so I can see um, where and what I have going on. When I do a final classroom reveal, I will link everything and where I got it from. Um, otherwise, you can try and ask me in the comments and I will see if I can answer. So bins, and then over here are just crates, empty crates. This table is all of my supplies. So that's either student or teacher supplies. Um, that are going on here. That doesn't include all of these down here. These are also supplies that you guys saw in a previous vlog. So supplies and then this table is all decor stuff. So this is kind of a lot of what we're gonna be working with today. So I have borders of all different kinds. Um, if you've been following me, you know that I used this paper for my big wood wall. To be honest with you, I am really over this shiplap. Um, one, because I stared at it all year long, and two, I feel like every teacher and their mother is using this now, so I'm just honestly sick of looking at it. Um, but if you do like it, you can get it at Michael's. So instead, this year, I still like the wood look, so I got this white shiplap. Um, I just thought it would be a little bit cleaner, and it's different. So this I got from Hobby Lobby. So this is what I'm gonna use for my backing this year. You never know, this might get thrown somewhere, who knows. Um, and then for my border, Again, if you've been following me, you know that I do this fun burlap border. So I have a lot of this burlap, but I found these smaller burlap, obviously blue and green at Hobby Lobby that I'm really excited to try for borders this year. Um, so yeah, this is my decor table. This is like miscellaneous stuff that I didn't know where to put it. And then these are all of my books and I will chat with you in a second about what I'm gonna do because these are all picture books. Um, and sixth graders, I'm sure they do love picture books, but it's not gonna be as big of a hit, I think, as they were in third grade. And then a lot of my chapter books are for younger kids. So this is like a two-day project in itself. And then over here are things that I'm gonna pack up because I don't need for third grade. So all this plus these boxes over here which is third grade materials are gonna go home with me today. Um, also, I'm really excited because I got and built these cabinets. They are from Ikea. I think you can hang them on the wall, but they're just cabinets. Um, and it's extra storage and I've created counter space over here, which I'm really excited about. So that's something new. And then over here, I wanna get like a reading bench of some kind. I'm gonna look for one on offer up or um, Craigslist or something someone hopefully will donate and then yeah so that is what you guys missed so let's talk about books really quickly so all of my chapter books are gonna go down here and I'm not gonna use book bins in sixth grade for silent reading so I think I'm gonna line all of these up on the top and then I'm gonna fill those with these picture books because as I shared on Instagram there's still a lot of good information in those books and then these are Again, if you followed me for a while, my leveled um, readers. Ah. Oh, like these guys over here. And I think I'm still gonna have these out and line them along this because A, they fit, and B, if I do need any leveled text for any reason or another teacher does, they're, they are available. So that's where we're at on books. Okay, so my mom is on her way. I'm gonna set up our little workstation and then we are just gonna start putting up these bulletin boards. I did ask on my Instagram for you to share with me what you guys use for your bulletin boards. Um, I am gonna be teaching math and science. So I do wanna dedicate one bulletin board for math, 
vocabulary and you know information for them and then one for science and then I have two more up front um, that I've been kind of playing with some ideas I really like the idea of doing like a calendar with events to get the kids you know thinking about what's coming up um, I also like the idea of like a growth mindset board and things like that you'll definitely see what I decide to do there are some things from third grade that I am going to use like my levels of understanding things like that that we will dive into these bins and pull out so Today's gonna be a lot of decorating, which I love these types of videos. These are my favorites to watch. So if you wanna see me start to spruce up this space, keep on watching. that's one finished it's picking up a lot darker green on camera but it's actually a little bit lighter um, the one mistake that I made is <laughs> these rolls aren't as big as the ones I'm used to so this took three rolls and I only bought three rolls and I still have to do this board with the green so I'm gonna have to buy three more of each color but that's okay I think it's so cute So blue and green, pretty. Okay, we opted for something else because I didn't want to drive all the way to Hobby Lobby and I have a lot of stuff. There we go, I fixed the exposure so the color comes off a little bit better. So I just used this scallop border for the bottom and this for the top. And I love the way it turned out. And then on this one, I'm gonna do the opposite. So I have the blue scallop and the green chevron. All right, so there's the opposite. So blue scallop, green chevron, and then green and blue. Woohoo! All right, so we finished the bulletin boards and the borders. Well, minus that border, we did the board. But I'm exhausted because I woke up at six o'clock and I'm starving. So I think what I'm gonna do is leave, eat, potentially take a nap, and come back in a little bit. So I will check in with you guys later in the afternoon. Hey guys, so I am back in my room and I'm by myself. I literally went home and took a two hour nap. I don't know if I just like slept bad last night or what the deal was, but we were hanging up this paper and like we were only here for an hour and a half and I was like, I gotta go home. Um, but there's still so much that I wanted to do. Okay, so it is now 2.45. So I saw my friend Maylene from Mrs. Calls Campers do this in one of her videos last year and she posted about it and it reminded me. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this big whiteboard here and I'm gonna write out everything that I can think of that has to get done. That way I dump it out onto my head. And if people come help me in my classroom, I like usually don't like people to come help me other than my mom because they come in here and they're like, what do you want me to do? And I'm like, I, I'm still staring at piles. I don't know, I have no idea. So I'm gonna spend some time brain dumping all my thoughts onto the whiteboard and then hopefully tackling some, if not a project. Okay, so my camera died while I was writing all this stuff, so I'm gonna use my phone. So I'm gonna turn you around in a second and show you kind of everything I've brain dumped. I'm sure that's not even everything, but I feel already a lot better. Um, so let me show you what I did. Like three categories, so if you wanna pause and read it, you can. So this is like stuff I need to buy, slash remove from the classroom or make. This is the organizing section. This is the one that I feel like is not full, but that's what I dumped. And then decorating and things like that. So then I use that to make a list on my phone of everything I can do when I go home to start like creating. So, so I think what I'm going to do while I'm here is get the shelves in my bookcases and start laying out all of the book boxes so I can at least see what will fit and maybe even start putting some picture books in there. 
this is what I did at first I started putting like my really low ones here and then I realized I don't have enough space so I started with my highest so from U to L and then up here I have I have to straighten them but my really low ones so I still have all my guided books so the kids can still access them and I think it looks really nice and neat what I think I'm gonna do for this is since I have so much of this extra paper, I know I was talking bad about it earlier. I think I'm just gonna measure and tape it in the back of all of those so they're all the same. So I'm gonna do that now and see if I like it. Okay, I just did the one in the middle to the center block. I found a miracle thing. It's this, it's called um, mounting putty. I was like, there's no way this is gonna work. I've had it forever, but I've never had center block. I just stuck it to the back of the paper and it like will not budge. I am truly shocked. So some of you were asking like, what can I use to hang stuff on center block? And I said, I don't know, but I'll let you know when I find out. That's it. Scotch removable mounting putty. And it just pulls right off when you're done. It's amazing. So that's exciting. I'm really liking the way this is turning out so far. So this is finished. Love the way it turned out. All right, guys, that is all I'm going to be able to get done today. I do want to go home and start creating some titles and labels and things like that. I don't think I'm going to be in here tomorrow because tomorrow I'm really going to dedicate to my master's program and getting a lot of schoolwork done. I feel like I'm falling behind and I hate that feeling. So I'm going to try and um, get some stuff done for that. I wanna get back in here on the weekend. So if you enjoyed these videos, make sure you give it a thumbs up and click subscribe so you don't miss the one to come. There are also three other videos of me setting up up until this point. I will link them down below. Let me know in the comments what your favorite part about setting up your classroom is and your least favorite part because for me, it's the books. So, uh. All right, guys, I love you so much. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.